He was trying to get some insurance, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. He's like, matter of fact, That's I'm awesome. going to take you, you up on that. <laughs> Man, there's so much to talk about on this one. Yeah, yeah. different than the last few days. Anyway. A lot happier. Success. Anyway. The energy's higher. All right, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Blind, brought to you by Tetra Hearing. Go check them out at tetrahearing.com. And uh, today we got some new guests with us. You haven't done any of it yet, right? No. Cody, no. you want to introduce know. yourself? This is Cody. Um, so my name's Cody Ferrari. I work for Nate at uh, Valley Oaks. Um, come down about a month ago and been working for him ever since. We've been getting along good. And yeah. It's a it's a nice addition. Yeah. I think yeah. It's, you fit in well with the group. So you and Nate are kind of one and the same, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, exactly. I, right? I feel like that, too. Yeah, we kind of get along good and all same interest, working geese, calling geese. And Perfect. And you haven't been on it either, have you? Man, yeah. I was. You guys actually oh, put me right. on the first night. You're like, first one. I got here, met everyone, and you guys put me right on the spot. You're like, hey, you're gonna sit right here, and you're gonna get on this podcast. Yeah, I'm so like, right they, on. They know, right? <laughs> they know. But it was are. fun. It was a good way to meet everyone. Right. But who you don't know is Mr. Dan Yeager. Hello. So you guys saw Justin last night. This is Justin's dad. They uh, <clears throat> he's one of the two who won the hunt giveaway. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. And if you guys are watching and saying like, man, I really wish I would have won that hunt. I, I wonder how it's going. Well, we had probably one of, I would say, one of the craziest hunts I've ever been on solely for the fact that we didn't shoot a ton of geese this morning, but the ones we did mattered. Absolutely. So we shot into one really good flock and shot six banded geese out of it. We shot five stainless single bands and mm -hmm. one double with a rivet which i mean like yeah pretty wild for sure so the ones that we did report looks like they're all from manitoba canada mm -hmm. um so we have one volley and six six banded birds out of the, what 10 out of that one yeah yeah um that so was crazy it, it, insane odds right and and there's some of you out there that have you know seen those those dream flocks right you shoot four or five bands out of a flock and it's a big deal yeah yeah i think the most i've ever seen on a hunt before is three or four not seven. Right. And it was mm. so cool because you like you have the stainless bands and then we had that rivet and not only was it the rivet, it was the older ones with the aluminum bands. Yep. And, and like that was what, you, eight years old? Is that what you guys Yeah, just over seven years. So I think banded in twenty fifteen. Yeah. So yeah, fifteen. That yeah. was an that was an old band. Because usually the only ones I've seen are the rivets with the stainless bands. Sure, right. Newer. But and that was after they stopped putting the aluminum ones on with the rivets. Mm. So yeah. that was that was cool. Super cool. Yeah. The the stainless were probably part of a, a big banding project in a family group because there were some that were, you know, 15, 20 numbers off from each other. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but it's just, I mean, obviously shooting a band is, is super cool. It's, you know, we all hope, oh, man, I really hope I shoot a band today. Right. And anybody yep. who waterfowl hunts that says they don't want to shoot bands is lying. Like <laughs> yeah, they're lying, absolutely. right? So then when you can, it, it, and it's going to be funny because when you guys see the, the video from today, it's, I think Nate came back first, right? And saw mm -hmm. the rivet. And I heard somebody over, I heard Nate go, oh, we got a rivet. And then all of a sudden I look over and Mo's coming back and I can see another band and I'm like, holy mm -hmm. cow, there's a stainless. And then I hear somebody else, oh, we got one over here. And then another, we got one over here. And yeah, pure it just chaos. seemed like it was never ending, right? Of no. everyone just being like, we got yeah. one. Oprah, Oprah with the bands. You, you get, get one. <laughs> Everybody gets a band. Yeah, um, yeah that was crazy. The, the funny part was, is we were all standing in a circle and I think I looked at my phone and at that point there was like, four stainless and maybe the rivet and then the dog came back we're all like thinking we're done here comes one more yeah. like it just never over stopped and over. And yeah i think there's only like what two or three maybe that had bare legs that weren't mm. banded right. out of that whole exactly. volley it was crazy and i'm sure the two that got away there were two that got away yeah i'm no. gonna just go ahead and say that they were probably banded. yeah well <laughs> one of the we two all, we all like hate to think that but yeah every odds, time one gets I mean, away it's, it's, it's always crazy odds and it's definitely one I'll never forget. Like mm -hmm. you have those Absolutely. stories, right? You go around, you talk to people when you waterfowl hunter, you meet new people and you're you're sharing stories like that's gonna be one. Hey, remember yeah. that one time in Missouri when we shot seven bands out of one yeah. volley? Awesome. That, yeah, that's an unforgettable hunt. Absolutely. For sure. 
And uh, well, you got a van, right? Yeah. So we did we did we did a draw. Okay, the the technically the fairway, but it's not fair to me because I never draw them. Right, <laughs> I lose every draw I've ever I've ever had. Yeah, but you got works. one, and Justin got one. Um, so that's that's super cool. That was Justin. That was your first one too, right? Yeah. So I mean, what a way to remember that, right? That hunt, that flock, getting your first band. It's it's super cool. Yeah, there was, super cool. yeah. I think, 10 people in the draw. So, and there was, You're, like, what? Six band? Yeah. 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 The odds were really, really yeah. good. There was only, I think, three people that didn't get a band that were in the draw. And then, of course, you I was filming on those flocks. And so I wasn't in the draw. And that was both times that I've been on a hunt where we killed rivets. I was filming both times. So I was like, <laughs> dang, man. And mm -hmm. Hunter told me, too. He's like, he's like, I'll hold the camera, like, grab your gun. And I was already holding my camera. Like, they were already starting to work. And, I mean, anyone that films knows it's, like, so hard to put the camera down. When you have birds right in the frame, like, yes. everything's perfect, and they're coming, and it's like, I can't move the camera. I can't put it down. Yeah. <laughs> it was as, just so hard to. As much as we enjoy, you know, shooting geese and stuff like that, yeah. it's just as fun. If, if you like taking pictures or you yeah. like filming, when they do it, like that yeah. and it's their backpedaling it's perfect it's like you get almost just as much enjoyment or or even more if you nail that yeah, shot like 100 percent. we're gonna go back and look at that slow-mo and i can guarantee you that when they're sticking their legs down we're gonna be able to go yeah. there 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 you know it's it's cool it's super yeah. fun to be able to go back and look at that stuff so yeah and i think for me it's like you can watch that clip the rest of your life mm -hmm. and like remember you know yeah so i wasn't mad i didn't shoot but that was either way. It was just as fun. It's fun shooting or not shooting. Yeah, I think total today we shot like thirteen birds. So yeah. on a numbers wise thing, um, those birds, it got super cold this morning. Like this was the coldest morning that it's been all week. It has, yeah, eight degrees this morning. Even though it's supposed to be fifties tomorrow, but yeah, I mean it was single digits this morning. It seemed like it took forever to warm up, and so the birds started flying pretty good at at uh, what? Well, ten oh three was when we shot yeah. that flock. Yeah. It was a so, slow trickle before that, just a it, few flocks. But. Yep, and they went they went out, and those birds that came back were the ones that decoyed great. So we thought, man, this is going to be great. All the birds that we saw go out are going to come back, and if they keep doing that, we're good. And yeah. they decided, nah, we're not going to sit today. We're going to go back to water, and yep. they went right back to where they came from. And So, as, you know, as a, a numbers-wise thing, it wasn't like – a phenomenal hunt by any means but this is definitely probably one of the most memorable ones that yeah for sure that you've ever had yep. so. yeah so i think we all were on the same page after those ones came in and we rained them out and got all those bands right yeah like, all right that made the whole hunt Dan, were you getting a little antsy like when because a lot of time like we like to decoy them in close and we get really greedy so when that we had probably what that eight pack or so was first yeah eight to ten and, and then landed them because we were wanting to finish the entire group right that increases your odds and it obviously worked very well in our favor yeah but yeah it was a it was a little daunting there just sitting there waiting waiting to hear the shot waiting, call someone say something you yeah know? <laughs> yeah when's he gonna <laughs> call it yeah <laughs> but uh yeah, it was definitely a treat for me yeah i never had experienced something like that and then start speaking like the the bands like that it was just a uh unforgettable hunt it really sure. is uh, it yeah. really is i saw justin over there getting all he was like huh, huh, huh. Was like ready <laughs> to go like oh is he gonna call it is he gonna call it so yeah we had a lot of fun today um and tomorrow we've been I'm, i don't want to like over hype it up right because we've talked about it a few times already yeah. but like <clears throat> tomorrow's been the the one that we've been saving right we knew yep. that you guys were going to be in town we, yep. for, we knew the hunt winners were going to be here and like saturday was going to be the day we got a, a lot of wind tomorrow it's the best spot that we've kind of been saving for the, you know, the, the hoorah. Um, it's a really good one. There's the birds are super comfy on it. It's a, um, it's a water spot that we've had open for a while now. Um, and it's probably the only water that's really open in yeah. the area besides where they're roosting. Yep. So, um, if we can get done with this soon enough, we may just run up there and take another look at it. But, um, tomorrow should be super fun, right? Another yeah. another ice setup, open water. They're super comfy. Absolutely. Yes, they sure are. Yeah, I'm excited to try it again. The first the first morning when I was here, we hunted uh, ice eater, open water, and I think we shot like three. So it was still fun for sure, but I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah the birds in the area, it seems like. The big thing, too, is, you know, when we opened that water and we shot those birds, was we were really trafficking them. Right. And so when they didn't fly... It's like, well, that, that kind of 
ruins your traffic hunt. That's yeah. the, the whole thing you need, right? Yeah. The birds flying over yep. to traffic them in there. And these birds have been coming to this to loaf during the day. So they're in it. They're comfortable with it. Yeah. They're going to be ready to come back in there tomorrow. So yep. it should be de- like really good decoy and close birds. Same thing like we saw today, just over water. And it should be really good. I'm sure we'll have probably a pretty good group tomorrow too. I don't know exactly who all is going to go, but. Yeah, probably the same 12-ish. Yeah. The old big home groups. Yeah. I'm yeah. putting the camera down if we get another big fly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it seems to be, when we hunted it last year, it was damn near a gentleman's shoot. I think, what did we shoot last year? Like a 10-man on it? It was like a 10-man. And best. Yeah, and we shot mainly Dang. singles and pairs up until like the last two groups were like really, really good rainouts. Yeah. And I know we've talked about it before. It's like, it's super fun to be able to shoot Canada's like that where, you know, it's not the pressure of a big group. It's like, all right, it's your turn. You shoot your single. Yep. All right, Dan, you can shoot your single. And it's fun to pick away at them like that. And I think it'll yeah. probably be like that a little bit tomorrow. But yeah. I'm sure we'll get into some yeah, should nasty be a good one. big groups over the. Yeah, that's awesome that for water. getting content too. Like when you get the singles and doubles, like, because you can get so much more content. Mm-hmm. But. The the big groups are awesome to watch. Yep. But when it's just like two big groups and then it's over. Yeah. You can't get too much out of that. Yeah. So I do enjoy the smaller groups for sure. Yep. Looking forward to it. Tonight we're gonna do uh Nate. I'm sure he's probably back from the store by now. So shout out to Nate because he's gonna be slaving over he's making a steaks. He is, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna say he didn't even leave yet, but he didn't even leave yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, steaks and uh, something else. It should be good. He's a really good cook, so yeah. I'm sure everybody Nate, will enjoy that for sure. The th- the one of the treats you get when you come here at Valley Oaks is Nate makes it a priority to give you a full experience. So not only mm-hmm. are you getting in some really amazing hunts and you're getting the the full you know you're working birds and close and you're you're getting that, but He's cooking your breakfast. He loves doing the whole breakfast in the blind. Or oh, yeah. You guys make food the night before and bring in burritos and things so you can have that, you know, fun experience in the blind there and, and making dinner. Like, he really wants to make it a full experience, not just come out and, ah, we'll meet you at the gas station and we can go shoot some geese and then we'll see you later. It's, yes, sir, it's the yeah. complete come stay at the lodge, come enjoy our time, like have dinner, do the camaraderie, like come in as, you know, strangers and leave his family kind of thing. So. Yeah. It's going to be fun. We we got all the other guys here right now hanging out, and we've had just a phenomenal couple days. We'll get to have a good dinner tonight, drink some beer, one or two maybe, and uh, go shoot them up really good tomorrow. And, yep. man, it just be the cherry on top of a, a good week already. Like, yeah, for the, sure. The hunting in the beginning of the week has been tough, and even when it's tough, when you have – awesome people that you can spend time with and hang out with and and get this it just it makes it it makes it fine right oh yeah we're still having fun we're, yeah, we're still enjoying ourselves yeah, of fun. yeah absolutely that's what it's all about really yep so i mean i don't want to end this too soon scout but, time yeah i i would like to go and just so you guys can see it too like we want to go do some filming and, and do some scouting and and have everything wrapped up so we'll end this one short and Maybe you'll just have to go over and help Nate do some cooking. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> he's like, I got, see what got something else going on right now. <laughs> so, uh, I guess next time we see you, we uh, hopefully we'll have another awesome story for you. So, appreciate you. Thanks to Tetra Hearing for putting on Behind the Blind. And uh, cheers to you guys. Diddly Here's to another good week. Another good hunt. <laughs>